Hi, HPA, President Foley here. Uh, just got one thing to talk to you guys about here today, and that's the Honeybee Tax Exemption Bill uh, 457. Sorry, still trying to remember the number. Uh, House Bill 457. It's uh, basically, basically the state of Iowa has this huge list of items that are tax exempt for agricultural purposes. Um, of course, that list goes on and on and on for other types of um, charities, education, uh, religion, things like that. But in perspective for agriculture, um, this long list all these years has had no verbiage tossed in there about honeybees. And as we all know, it's a farming practice. Virtually every department of our government has a classification for honeybees as an agri agricultural product. Uh, I mean, the FSA, you can get loans for being a bee farmer. You have uh, different programs that protect your bees like ELAP and et cetera. There's a federal um, drought insurance program for honeybees. Uh, the Food and Drug Administration classifies honeybees in the state of Iowa as a farm product, and that is that is why they do not tamper with honey uh, for having food inspections or anything until you start altering the honey. Uh, until then, it's an agricultural product as long as you're just extracting it and bottling it. Um, there's a whole state agency for bee inspections. Uh, it just goes on and on and on from there. But in regards to the Department of Revenue and Taxation, honeybees have been left out of it. And this goes on beyond, this goes far beyond just you as a consumer buying a product and saving your sales tax on it. This is about our government not giving the same rights to you that they afford to every other farmer in our state of Iowa. The sale of chickens, the sale of hogs, cattle, um, seed corn, um, the you know fertilizer, uh, any of the feeds and supporting products and equipment involved in agriculture, all those things are supposed to be tax exempt because they're used to grow or build a product that then is meant for sale later on. And in our industry, that entails perpetuating the bee species, growing them up so that they can pollinate plants and produce honey. That is what our industry is about. So in, as such, it clearly falls under the same industry as say, dairy cat. They produce milk. The sale of dairy cattle as a breeder livestock, tax free, but honeybees not. Um, chickens, they supply eggs, product right there. So you go into it and really honeybees are being singled out or beekeepers are being singled out as not included as being farmers. So we're really trying to get this bill passed. Uh, it only takes one time of you being excluded from something for another branch of government to exclude you and another and another and another and it can snowball. So it's always important even in the tiniest of matters to protect Iowa beekeepers here. And if even if this isn't a big issue for your own personal rights, if you have other beekeepers that you care about, um, you should fight for this bill because you're fighting for their rights. And I sent out that letter and there was three people on this subcommittee that should be addressed. Um, Charles Eisenhardt, that was on the three person committee, he's actually the person that wrote the verbiage of the bill and is a big supporter of it. Um, Megan Jones and Mike Sexton would be the two representatives most that you should be writing to and trying to convince of the importance of not excluding beekeepers as an agricultural producer. That Apis mellifera, the domesticated honeybee used in farming all over the world, used in pollination services across the country here, um, 
that produces honey that is a, a basically they have termed it that without this honeybee, the world's food economy would crash. Now, how can the world's food economy depend on this managed creature? And let's be frank, in the world here today, Apis mellifera, the European honeybee that has been domesticated here, it's 90 to 98% all managed colonies that is really supporting the world because out in its natural environment, there's just so much stuff out there anymore that harms them that it's because of beekeepers that bees are still thriving in this world and that our food economy hasn't crashed. So with all that being said, I've talked on and on here. Sorry, we're already at this point. I'm begging you just please. The emails have been up this whole video here. Reach out to them via email. Feel free to call them. Uh, if they have a Twitter account, anything like that. If you know any other representatives out there, feel free to reach out to them. Um, they may not be directly related, but it doesn't hurt to get the, ch the, the ball rolling, to create conversation about this, because you never know when they're like, all right, this was too close of a decision. Let's move it on to a larger committee here and that those people would, um, excuse me, would be involved. So I'm just asking you to try to do your part. Try to help out the IHPA. Uh, try to help out your fellow beekeeper. Try to help out any future farmers that are getting into beekeeping. This was Jason Foley, and I thank you for listening to this. Take care.